Hello and welcome to this week's OMSI 2 news. This week we have quite a bit of stuff going on within the OMSI 2 world. There's been some updated information about the currently work in progress Morden project, which is another South London map in development. There's some information about the Bodenham RHD map. Some more information yet again about the new Man Lion City DLC. I know this is the third week this is mentioned, but again more information has surfaced, especially in announcements from Halicon de S. So I thought we should delve into that as well. And there's a few other stuff, uh, but I'll just go into those as we go into the video. And as as always, uh, the video's timestamp for your convenience, so you can just go and filter through to the part that is of interest to you. So first of all, regarding the Morden project, a new route will be added to the Morden project. So initially, um, basically beforehand, the map was only going to have three routes, but now it seems like a fourth one has also been added. And as this screenshot shows you, there's a 219 route, and this is the additional route that has been added into the Morden project. This route runs from Tooting Broadway to Wimbledon, so perhaps some of the areas that in the current add-on London DLC may also be featured in the Morden project. As well as this, uh, the developer has also announced that they have added in more objects that make it a more modern OMC2 map. And uh, going off a poll which asked if they wanted to use add-on London buses in the AI pack, it seems like this will be the case as well. But there will also be well, uh, uh, there will also be an AI list without the London buses uh, so that no one is prohibited from using the uh, map when it's out in case they don't have any of the payroll DLCs. And here's just another picture of the modern project so again here is the 219 so this is the route of choice that has been added as well you can also find more information about this in the description or in their discord server as well we also have the uh, main announcements linked to our discord server too here as you can see there is master switch studios but if you look at the bus to the far right hand side it's the single decker street deck so this single decker street deck will be included with the gen 3 pack now though, some people were saying this is the veiling but this is actually the street deck single decker so basically this is a new model bus that's been recently released in real life and hence they have decided master switch studios that they will also include and i think this is the street deck pack so there you have it that single deck of street deck is coming to omc2 soon as well or it might be the wheeling pack i'm pretty sure they said the it was the gen 3 pack but i'm, I'm open to correction there uh as well as that bodenham rhd which is kind of uh, it's been in development for a while and i think it's uh, at least I have kind of forgotten about it lately. There was actually an update about it. So basically, this was about uh, a week ago. A beta was released uh, to the testing teams, and once the beta is basically kind of successful, what they're going to do is they're going to give it out to a few uh, YouTubers out there in the Omnitude community uh, before a kind of final release. Uh, this is similar to what's been happening with West Country version three, which we talked about in the last Omnitude news videos, where a few. Creators have also been using the uh, have also been uh, showcasing uh, early access videos of the map as well. So Bodenham RHD will be going in a similar direction too. So basically, that kind of indicates that Bodenham RHD is in the final stage of development, so to speak. We also have an announcement about the. This is an official announcement from Halicon the Air, taken straight from the website. Again, if you want to read further into this, you can find the link then in the description, or if it's not, not in the description, then in the Discord server. But basically, it turns out so. Uh, basically, Halicon the Air has released dates po uh, posted on their. Uh, pages so if you go into the, any of the dlcs that are currently working in progress like the c2 or the man the new man lion city pack what you will notice is that there's a release date and it gives a date well it actually turns out that those release dates are completely arbitrary numbers they don't actually reflect any release date and the only reason they are in there is because the system or the website according to them requires a date to be put in there in order for it to function properly so basically the takeaway is that you can't actually trust those release dates they aren't actually final release dates they are basically just there uh, to keep the system happy so just to clarify hence uh, i know in a few of the news videos that we were mentioning release dates that were coming officially from the halicon the air site well following this announcement it actually turns out that those release dates uh, must be taken with a pinch of salt hence why we haven't actually seen um the new man lion city uh bus be released yet so therefore um for those of you who actually look at the halicon the air website just to be advised i uh, do not actually pay uh, too much attention or if any attention to the release dates uh listed there uh, but while we're on the topic of the new Ma Lion City pack, one thing we haven't mentioned is the price. And actually, on the Aerosoft site, they list the prices in advance. I think the C2 is also there, but I couldn't seem to find it lately. But basically, the price is going to be the same price as the Iris bus pack, or the newer. So it's basically the same price as the newer bus pack. So before it used to be about 15 euro, but now they've started to become 18 euro to 17 euro, uh, 17 to 18 euro. Uh, bear in mind, usually in Aerosoft, it, uh, the Aerosoft site, uh, sometimes the prices tend to be like 20 or 30 to 50 cent more expensive than on Steam, but it's not always 
always the case. But you're looking about this price, 18 euro, the 18 euro mark for the new Lion City pack when it is out on Steam. Um, I know with uh, Grand Prix Milan and uh, Helicon, they have always done the early bird 20% uh, discount sale. So perhaps they will do that as well. And perhaps that's why the price is more expensive. is because the fact they sell cheaper at the early stages when they get most of the sales. Uh, it's kind of, uh, in a way, penalizing those who buy it later. That could potentially explain why it's 18 euro rather than the standard 15. But again, it's not confirmed that it's going to be on sale, but it's uh, there's going to be an early bird sale. But you know, if we to assume that the tradition will continue, then that is also a likelihood. Okay, and then we also have some information for those of you who own the München DLC or the Wuppertal DLC. So with the München DLC, uh, uh, sorry, go with Wuppertal first because that's actually up top. So Wuppertal uh, is the suspension railway DLC, um, and basically it's just got an update. It's got some corner features added in, and yeah, it's pretty much that. It's just corner features. Uh, the change log is on the Steam uh, site. Uh, I'm not going to read through all that um, or any of it, but just some corner features added in there. Regarding München, what's happened is they fixed some texture issues, traffic lights, issues with traffic lights have also been fixed, uh, fixed and there was also, uh, this seems to be a case, especially uh, sometimes with the AMD uh, graphics card users, because I know with Adam London it was also an issue where some of the cars were showing up invisible, so they fixed that with the Hyundai taxis, and then... Uh, also, the Avenio tram, which uh, for those of you who follow the uh, on their Facebook page or on their other social media, you, uh, they were posting a lot of uh, pictures of their uh, Avenio tram. That is basically an AI tram. It now runs on KI, so KI is basically just uh, the German word for AI uh, for the AI tram uh, line twelve. And that brings us to an end to this week's OMC2 news. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Do forget, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for your weekly OMC2 news updates, usually every Tuesday. We are also doing a simulation news uh, series, which is generally every week or second week, something like that. There's a lot of information about upcoming uh, bu uh, bus simulators, particularly the bus by TML, bus world, bus sim 21, uh, sim rail, which is actually train simulator, uh, bus um, rail, and even tram sim, which is also getting some updates as well. So make sure to tune into that if the simulator news is something of particular interest to you and as always do make sure to join our discord where you can find all the official links uh mentioned in the channel uh mentioned in this um video or any of the news videos as well as uh all this stuff posted in advance uh, because obviously these videos are scheduled so if you want to uh, stay even more on top on the discord we have a dedicated news channel we've imported all the all, all of the main kind of uh announcement channels from other Discord servers that are uh, in the OMC2 development and in the simulation news development, so you can find all that information there as well. That's it for now. Until next time.